Welcome back to more Pokemon Red. In the last episode, I caught the last few Pokemon that I actually had to catch. The only ones left now are needing to be evolved. And so that's what I'm going to be focusing on this episode. I did lie at the end of the last one because this is not going to be the last episode of the series. Well, I didn't lie. I changed my mind. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to grind the Elite Four at the Pokemon League to evolve all these Pokemon. So it could take a very long time. And if that's the case, I might have to do some editing, some fast forwarding, I just don't know yet. So I'm gonna leave all the cool things to do for the next episode, like the diploma once you catch all 151 Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. I will leave all that for the next episode. So this one's strictly just gonna be, be me grinding the Elite Four, that way you kind of know what you're getting into. And again, I'll just have to kind of see how it goes. If it takes three hours, I'll do a lot of fast forwarding and editing. But if it's pretty quick, we'll just kind of keep things as they are. I just don't know. I just don't know. So that's the way things are going to plan out. Yeah, the next episode is tying up all the loose ends. Talking to people, showing off some cool stuff. But for this one, I'm just going to be grinding. So let me get my tentacle here. It's grown by a lot. By level, it's grown by 13. Aren't I great? You owe me $1,400 in return for this Pokemon. Alright, thank you. Here's your Pokemon. I got a tentacle back, so how how much is he? He's 28. He needs to get to 30 to evolve. Alright, so he still needs a couple of levels. Not bad. Let's go on over to the Pokemon League. Let me fly over there. Indigo Plateau. And then let me set everything up here. Let me deposit the Charizard because I'm not going to be needing to fly. Deposit him, everybody else needs to be leveled up, and then I am going to withdraw some items. Let me go ahead and get the EXP all. Okay, good. And then I am going to purchase a couple things here. Let me get a full restore, let me get like... I don't know, three of these. And then let me make sure that my Pokemon are in order. Yep, okay, everything looks good. And so let the grind begin. Before I step in here, I am going to start my little timer. And we're going to see how long this is all going to take. So, alright, here we go. I anticipate it's going to take an hour 45 minutes. That's my guess. So, let's see. So this time around, I'm just going to be kind of skipping through the text here. We've already read all this. Strictly grinding. My Needle King's still not strong enough to one-shot all these Pokemon, so I'm going to be doing that X-Accuracy Horn Drill strategy. I only have two X-Accuracies left. Oh, he used Rest. Why did he use Rest? That's dumb. Nice. Oh man, this is gonna be painful. My main concern with it is that I just don't know what to talk about during this whole time. That's why I kind of give you guys the warning as to what this episode is gonna be like. And then again, if it's really long, I'm just gonna fast forward and you probably won't even hear me talking. We'll just see. A lot of what's going to happen this episode is going to be determined in the cutting room floor when I'm editing. Got the slow bro. I don't know, it's going to be kind of fun to speed run the Elite Four, if you will. Kind of see how quickly I can do it each time. Technically, it should get faster every time because my Needle King should get a level or two each run. I might need to go buy some more X accuracies though. Alright, he's 64. Good. And the Meowth is 25. It's that Dratini that's gonna be the death of me, man.
Yeah, the Dratini is going to take forever. By the way, I do have, I believe, six rare candies, but the Dratini needs to get to 30 to become Dragonair, and then the Dragonair needs to get to 55 to become Dragonite. So once the Dragonair is 49, then I can spam all my rare candies on it and quickly get it to 55. So I don't actually have to level him up all the way, but I do need to get him to 49, which is still going to be a pretty daunting task, I think. You know the drill here, it's going to be ice beaming through this whole team. Except the Machamp at the end. The Machamp is kind of tough. I think when I first fought the Machamp, I did the ice beam, but I think if I were to use Thunderbolt, it would actually do more damage. So I'm going to try this out. See if it helps. On the the tentacle, by the way, is also a slow leveler, so it doesn't gain much experience, unfortunately. But it only needs two levels, so not too bad. Man, I I put it in the daycare many many episodes ago, and it only gained 13. That's all right though. Alright, Tentacool 29, I'll take it. So yeah, he's, he only needs one more. Alright, yeah, let me try the Thunderbolt here. Because I think the Ice Beam, like, barely even did half damage. Okay, that was a critical hit, so I don't even know... ...if that was gonna be better or not. But either way, the Machamp is dead. get good money here too. I might buy some of the permanent stat increase items as well for some of my Pokemon with the money. I don't know. Because I'm thinking that for the next episode, in terms of cleaning up loose ends, I would like to assemble a team of six Pokemon that I really like. Use some TMs to get the cool moves on them. Max them out in terms of using the items that improve their stats. So that's kind of what I'm thinking towards the finale here. I may or may not choose to get my team of six that I decide to keep to level 100 each. That's kind of crazy. If I were to do that, it would be heavily, heavily edited. But I kind of want to pick six of my favorite Pokemon. Meowth is 26, nice. And then maybe get them all to level 100 for the next episode. I think that might be kind of fun. All right, Dratini's level 30, so it's going to evolve. It's trying to learn Slam. I think I might change it because it'll be nice to use. You know, let me use Leer. It might be nice to use the Dratini once it levels up a little more so that it's the one actually fighting and getting a majority of the experience. Let me Thunderbolt this. The Golbat is another Pokemon here that could be problematic in these runs because I don't think I can one shot it. Yep. Oh no, Confuse Ray. Bad news. Bad news. Oh god, here we go. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought though. I thought that was gonna take like a quarter of my health. Not too bad. Or earthquake in the rest of these guys. Arbok.
Now I think if I were to get everybody to level 100, I definitely wouldn't want to use the XP all. Just the text of it takes up so much time. I'd have to do a lot of switch fighting though. In order to do that, I need a stronger Nido King. Alright, Kabuto level 40, so we're done with the Kabuto because he's gonna evolve. As is that Dratini, so we're getting two evolutions here. What? Kabuto is evolving. Kabuto evolved into Kabutops. What? Dratini is evolving. Dratini evolved into Dragonair. Very cool. So let me read the Pokedex entry for those two. Looking for Kabutops and Dragonair. So now the Kabutops is going to be sucking up experience that I want to, don't want it to have, but there's no way around it. I'll deposit it before the next run, obviously. Its sleek shape is perfect for swimming. It slashes prey with its claws and drains the body fluids. That's terrifying. See the Dragonair? A mystical Pokemon that exudes a gentle aura has the ability to change climate conditions. Alright, let's keep moving. We need three more Pokemon, that's crazy. The Persian, the Tentacruel, and then the Dragon Knight. Super Saiyan Lance. It's Thunderbolt here. The Pokemon I worry about here is the Aerodactyl. I don't think I can one-shot the Aerodactyl. Alright, level 65. Nice, nice. Dragonair now can start Ice Beaming these. Another Dragonair. Now the annoying thing, once you beat the Elite Four, is you have to sit through the credits for it to register and save. So that's kind of annoying. I'll probably edit those parts out for sure. At the very least. Alright. Thunderbolt or Ice Beam? I can't remember what's the better move here. Okay, that Ice Beam worked out. I guess Ice Beam is the answer for now. I guess at level 65 I can one-shot him. Meowth is 27, so the Meowth only needs one more level. That's good. That's what I want, man. The Dragonite. It's gonna be the last Pokemon I get. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. I don't know why I'm reading. I'm grinding. I'm not supposed to be reading text. Just get so used to it when I'm doing these 100% playthroughs to read everything, but there's no point in it now. Alright, so I do have to use my Max Elixir. Or actually, I can just use a regular Elixir, right? On Nido King, yeah, I can do that. And you know what? I could probably make the yeah. The text is already fast. 
I can do battle animation off while I'm grinding. Yeah, let's do that, because that's going to make things a lot quicker. I'm really hoping the Meowth gains one more level here, that way I can deposit it, because if it doesn't, it's probably going to level up very early on in my next run, and then it's going to be sucking up a ton of experience needlessly. I still don't know if I can one-shot this, because last time I think it took two Thunderbolts to get rid of this Pidgeot. Which, you know, if it's Sand Attacks, it could be bad news. Oh, he used a full Restore. I left him with like one little HP. Maybe if it criticals, or if I get a slightly better roll, it can kill it? Nope. Whirlwind, unaffected, good. Hopefully once I'm level 66, the Pidgeot should get one-shotted. Terrifying Alakazam. If it gets a Psychic off, it can do so much damage. You gotta level up for me. Please. I don't know if he's going to. It's gonna be close. Come on, Meowth. Ah. We got two more Pokemon to pump experience into him. Although, the Tentacle's already level 30, so the Tentacle's gonna be done. Man, I forgot what the move here is again. Was it Earthquake or Ice Beam? I think it's Ice Beam. I think Earthquake is not very effective, right? Or do I have that backwards? Oh man, I hope I don't have that backwards. Okay, thankfully that didn't affect me. Oh god, now it did. Bad news. Oh, woke up immediately, that's good. I'm gonna do an earthquake here. Because I'm curious, I think it's not very effective, but either way it'll kill him, but I just wanna see for the future runs. Yeah, not very effective. What I thought. Alright, level 66, good. And the Meowth leveled up as well, so we're getting the Persian and the Tentacruel. So we're only gonna be stuck needing the Dragonite. Nice. Are we sending out the Blastoise? I'm gonna Thunderbolt this bad boy. Get him out of here. Dragonair 31, good. So yeah, we're gonna be getting two Pokemon here. What? Meowth is evolving. Meowth evolved into Persian. What? Tentacle is evolving. Tentacool evolved into Tentacruel. Nice. So that took me about 17 minutes. Alright, should be getting a little bit faster each time. Especially with the battle animation off. And so, don't run off just yet. I will be doing some editing through this ending part. But I want to read the Pokedex entry for the two new Pokemon. And then I'm going to be repeating this part. 
I think probably what I'll do is I'm probably gonna do a shop run. I need to get some more X accuracies. And then I'm gonna do some... Yeah, just some X accuracies. And then some full restores and heals and all that. And then I'll just keep grinding more runs here. So yeah, I'll probably edit out all this ending part because there's really not much here besides sitting through the credits and scrolling through all this text. Okay, we're back here. Let me read the Pokedex entries here for... God, what am I looking for? Persian and... I already forgot what I'm looking for. Definitely Persian. The classy cat. Although its fur has many admirers, it is tough to raise as a pet because of its fickle meanness. And then the tentacruel. There's the tentacruel. The tentacles are normally kept short. On hunts, they are extended to ensnare and immobilize prey. Very good. Man, it feels good. 150 out of 151. Yeah, I've read all of this. Okay, good. So I'll do some editing for the next run through the Elite Four. All right, ready for another run here through the Elite Four. We're starting at 25 minutes on my timer, so let me see how long it takes me this time around. And of course, I deposited every Pokemon besides the Dragonair. So I only have one other besides the Needle King here. Should be faster with the text from the EXP all, and then also the experience should be much higher because you're not giving it up between so many Pokemon. Use my X accuracy. I'm gonna have to buy some before my next run. And then I was thinking about it. I don't think I can buy elixirs or ethers anywhere. So that's gonna be a problem because I need to use one before the last battle here with the rival, or else I just don't have enough moves to to fight him. I do have a lot of PP ups that I never use though, so I might have to use them. After this little quick run through the Elite Four, I'll, I'll do a little bit of research, see if I can go buy those items at any shop. I don't think I can, though. Expecting this to go a lot quicker, especially since I turn off the battle animation. The Lapras, that's the problem. I think at level 66, I could probably one-shot all her Pokemon by now. Except the Lapras. And the Lapras can do Hydro Pump, which is going to do just way too much damage. Alright, just going to keep on going. Got to get this Dragonair all the way to 49, man. That's crazy. It's going to take... I don't know how many runs it's going to take. I think this is probably going to make me not want to do that thing that I talked about, where I'm going to get six Pokemon to level 100. Probably not going to want to do that after leveling up this Dragonair. Man, it's gonna be it's gonna be painful. All right, 32, 17 levels to go. My God. Nido King, 67. That's good. And then the champ, yeah, let me do the Thunderbolt. That worked out pretty well last time. Better than the the Ice Beam on my initial run. I'll use an X Defend, which now I really shouldn't be able to kill him with the second Thunderbolt. I'm gonna need a third one. Oh man. 
Could you imagine if that Fisher hits? That's such a clinch moment, man. Because if it hits the 20% chance, then this thing is over. Making good time. It's only been four minutes and I'm already about to fight Agatha here. Get these earthquakes going. I think now that I'm 67, I should be able to one-shot her gold bat. It's super annoying getting confused by it. Nice, okay. There we go. Arbok easily. There's only a few Pokemon now that could possibly give me issues when I'm fighting the Elite Four. Then my Champ. And then that Executor on the rival battle is pretty pretty annoying as well. And the Dragonair is really not leveling up much at all, so it's going to take a lot of runs, I think. Alright, Mr. Lance, let's do it. already running out of things to talk about doing this so probably starting at the next one I'm probably just gonna fast forward them is what I'm thinking got a 33 Dragonair we're getting there we are getting there Another Ice Beam. Okay, 68. I feel like the Nido King is leveling up faster than the Dragonair, even though it's like double its level. For the Dragonite. Very good. So I think I am going to use the PP up. Uh, let me use the elixir this time, but I might have to use the the PP up Going forward once I run out Or actually let me let me do the elixir All right good now let's go on through 
They don't have to heal or anything this time, which is nice. The annoying thing is that it transports me to Pallet Town after these battles, and I don't have any Pokemon that can fly because my Charizard's in the PC because I don't want him hogging experience. I have to go to Viridian, I have to withdraw him, I have to fly, I have to put him back in. So it's kind of annoying. Still can't one-shot this guy, huh? Kill on the Alakazam. It's just that Executor that's kind of shady. And then maybe also the Blastoise, because I can't one shot the Blastoise, and if it Hydro Pumps, it could do a lot of damage. 34 on the Dragonair. Executor is what's trouble. If I were to freeze it, it would be nice. Oh, nice. Critical hit. Oh, not hypnosis, man. Ah. Super frustrating. Not worried about it. It just kind of sucks. Especially if he's going to barrage every time. It's going to take just a lot of time. Because it's... A long animation for it. Don't flinch. Okay, nice. See, a hydro pump here could be bad news. Honestly speaking. A hydro pump here could be bad news. Okay, but he doesn't withdraw, so I'll take it. All right, 69. Oh, yeah, 69. Needle King. The King of 69. So that's it. That's another run. That is another run done. We're going to do a little bit more editing, and then we're going to get another run going. So... 25 to 36, that took me about 11, 12 minutes or so. A little faster than last time. Alright, we're up for another run. I did go to the shop and I bought a bunch of X accuracies. And then I also bought some awakenings in case I get put to sleep by that executor. But I think I'm just going to fast forward through this entire little run here. Starting at 45 minutes on my timer. Alright, 35 on Dragonair. Level 70 on the Nido King. That's a pretty big milestone.
Dragonair is 36, 13 levels to go. I feel like it's gonna take a lot of runs. Seven. We're getting there. I hate this executor battle. But I did buy the awakenings, like I told you, just in case he puts me to sleep. Oh, nice. I got a freeze on him. That's good. That's lucky. It'll happen every once in a while. This blizzard is going to be deadly. Alright, super effective, but definitely can withstand it. Alright, so that is another run done. And I'll edit to where I'm starting the next one. We're a little under an hour and... I think initially I estimated an hour 45 minutes, but I think that's a little ambitious. I think it's going to take me a lot longer than that. Alright, here we go. Run number four, I believe. I'm probably going to lose count before all this is over, but I think this is run number four. Level 72, we're getting there. Well, the level on the Nido King doesn't really matter. Just looking at the dragon there. on the Dragonair. 11 more levels to go. Seventy-three Nido King, getting stronger and stronger. Technically, should be making these runs faster and faster as well. Ten to go, ten to go. I've mentioned it, but I need to get him to 55, but I have six rare candies. So if I get him to 49, we're good. King is level 74, good. 
Now, this is a good point to point out that another strategy would be to not use the XP all and do switch training, but then the enemies would be getting a free hit on my Needle King, and I could bring potions, but I think switching back and forth and having to use the potions ultimately would take longer, I think. Because right now the Needle King is getting 75% of the experience, and the Dragoner is getting 25%. Because the Needle King gets half, and then half of half, so... I still think this is faster. I may be wrong, though, I don't know. But that's the end of this run, so we'll do the next run here in a second. Alright, this is run number five. Getting a little faster, getting a little better, but still a little painful to have to go through this process. I don't know, actually I'm kind of having fun, to be fully honest with you guys. Level 40, only 9 more. I almost taste it. Five on the Needle King. Three quarters of the way to max level. Forty one. Seventy-six. Man, my ice beam missed. That's a first. I don't think that tail whip's gonna matter, though, thankfully. Forty-two, yay! Nice. That's another run in the book, so yeah, I'll fast forward to the next one. All right, this is run number six. Like I said, I initially estimated an hour forty-five minutes, but that's not happening. Not at all. I think we probably need another four or five runs here. Seven seven. Forty 
43. Six to go, six to go. Level 44, and we're done with another run. So I'll see you on the next one in a quick second. This is run number seven already. Seventy nine on the Nido King. Finally level 45. It's getting slower, but we're down to four. Dragon Rage. I'll delete an older move. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of that wrap. I might be able to start using it. I don't know. And by it, I mean the Dragonair. Use it as the primary Pokemon, at least against a few of them. Level 80, big milestone. Ah, I used the wrong move here. Shouldn't be an issue though. And that is the end of the seventh run. Let's do another one. All right, run number eight, unless I lost count. Forty six, three to go, three to go. Eighty one on Nido King. So I'm going to try to fight with the Dragonair, at least against the Onyx. I think the Surf might be able to kill them. So I'm going to switch to battle mode as well, so I can switch in case I need to. 
Let's try it out. It missed. All right, his miss too. This might one shot him. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, the Onyx doesn't give very good experience. Uh, I am gonna switch Pokemon. So that worked pretty well, at least for this one, but I'm gonna switch things back for the next fight. Forty-seven. Only two more levels. We're almost there. How very exciting. Eighty-two on the Needle King. Alright, so I'm actually gonna put this back to shift because I might pull out the Dragonair for the Rhydon. Let's see if this works out. I think it'll be good because I think I can outspeed him. The Surf might probably two shot him, I would think. But I think I can survive whatever he throws at me. Actually, one one shot there. Very good. And I think I'll keep it for the Arcanine as well. I think that makes sense with the Surf, although the Arcanine might outspeed me because it's a fast Pokemon. Yep, that's alright. I survived whatever he threw at me. Oh, that actually didn't do much damage at all. Let me try to kill him because... Yeah. I mean, I can take damage as long as I don't die. Oh, I got a critical, but... Unfortunately, that wasn't enough. That's alright, I'm gonna get the full experience here. Well, 75% of any anyway. So I definitely will be switching back here to our normal, normal program. Nice, got a freeze. We got one more level, so I think we should get it with one more run But that's it for this one. Let's do one more All right run number nine should be the last one a Little under two hours and a half here man
You know what? I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to fight this naturally. Let's see what happens. Since it's the last run, might as well make it a little bit exciting. Only thing I'm concerned about is gonna be the Lapras. Jinx, I should be able to knock out with an Earthquake. This is the only thing that might screw me over. works. That's faster. I don't have to use that item. The X accuracy. Let me put the Dragonair ahead again for this next one. And then we're gonna go ahead and shift the battle style. Three Nido King. feels good so now I am gonna go ahead and use all those rare candies let's do it let's do all these rare candies level 50 51 52 you better be counting with me at home you better be I want your mom walking in your room and asking, what are you saying numbers out loud for? I want you to say, because, mom, Renaissance Gaming is about to get his Dragonair up to level 55 and evolve it into a Dragonite as the last of the Kanto Pokemon. 151 out of 151. Count it with me. Last level, level 55. Dragonair, yeah. Dragonair is trying to learn Hyper Beam. Definitely gonna teach you Hyper Beam. Let me get rid of the Thunder Wave. Very cool. What? Dragonair is evolving. Dragonair evolved into Dragonite. 151 out of 151. Look at that Pokedex. Look how beautiful it looks. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Let me read the Pokedex entry for the Dragonite. So I estimated an hour 45 minutes. It took me a little over two hours and a half to do this. I had fun doing it, though. I don't mind grinding. I put on a podcast and I just kind of grind through this. It's kind of fun. It's part of the fun of Pokemon and RPG games is the grind, you know? An extremely rarely seen marine Pokemon. Its intelligence is said to match that of humans. Alright, so that's all 151, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to finish here. That way the game saves, and then the next episode, I'm going to be tying up a bunch of the loose ends. 
So that's going to be pretty exciting. I hope you'll join me for that. But for now, I will fast forward the rest of this. At least until I get to the end where it shows you your Pokedex. Once you're joining the Hall of Fame. Because it will have a nice little message there. on the Needle King. Alright, so the Hall of Fame for another time here. The level 84 Neo King without, none of this would be possible. And our brand new Dragonite, the last Pokemon that we put in the Pokedex. And then finally we got a little Ren here. Seen 151 Pokemon, caught all of them. Pokedex ready, your Pokedex is entirely complete. Congratulations. Very cool. So that's it. I will let the credits play out here again for this episode, but do come back for the next one for the finale. There's still a few cool little things to show. I'm gonna be wrapping up everything in a nice little bow, and then we're gonna call it call it a day. So I've had a lot of fun doing this, and eager to just kind of finish it up and move on to the next project. So I hope you guys will join me. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.